imagine you found a pair of dice such that no matter how you toss them, they always added up to seven. Besides becoming the richest man in Vegas, what you would have there is something called an entangled pair of dice. When you tossed one of the dice, you would have no idea what number would come up until you saw it. But as soon as you saw a number, you would know instantly that the other one would come up such that the two numbers always added up to seven. You could now separate these entangled dice. You could have your friend Alice take one of these to Macau, while the other one stays with you in Las Vegas. And as soon as you rolled your dice, the other one would always instantly show a number that added up to seven. Since this happens instantly, did your dice communicate at faster than the speed of light to Macau? Entanglement is real, and it has mind-blowing implications for the universe. What is it? That's coming up right now. Although entangled pairs of dice is not real, in quantum mechanics, entangled pairs of particles are very real. and they work in a very similar way. To understand entanglement better, you first have to accept the fact that at the quantum scale, reality is fuzzy. Reality doesn't know what it is until it's measured. This is like a single dice tossed in the air that doesn't have a distinct face until it lands. When tossed up, it is a one, two, three, four, five, and six all at once. Quantum particles are similar in that they do not have a distinct property until they are measured. Particles, such as a photon, exist in all possible states simultaneously. But when it is measured, it is in only one state. And if the photon is entangled, this measurement of one particle causes its entangled pair to simultaneously exhibit the opposite state, no matter what the distance is between them. Einstein disliked this idea of one particle influencing the other over long distances so much that he called it spooky action at a distance. Einstein believed that the particles carried information about each other at the moment they were entangled and were close to each other. In other words, the properties of both particles were determined locally and carried along from the very beginning. So in Einstein's view, the two dice knew what they would show before they were tossed. But in the quantum world, this is supposed to be impossible because particles don't know what they are until they're measured, like the dice being simultaneously all numbers when tossed. But Einstein's view was something that many scientists held on to because his view of predetermined entangled particles could not be disproven. But in 1964, an Irish physicist by the name of John Bell devised a test that actually could prove whether information was encoded within the entangled particle or whether the spooky action at a distance was real. He did this by taking advantage of the fact that in quantum mechanics, measurement affects the thing you are measuring. If information was encoded at the time of particle creation, as Einstein believed, then nothing we do randomly to one particle should affect the other. And what this test found conclusively proved that quantum mechanics is correct, that Einstein was wrong, and that spooky action at a distance does in fact take place. And since 1964, numerous experiments have proven this over and over again. Einstein's worst fear is true. There are no hidden bits of reality that act locally to predetermined quantum measurement results. So are entangled particles communicating instantaneously? If any communication does exist, it is at least 10,000 times faster than the speed of light. That's what we know. But this fact doesn't matter. Even if the speed was five miles per hour faster than the speed of light, it would violate Einstein's theory of relativity. And more importantly, our picture of reality would completely collapse. So let's just say that most scientists have come to the conclusion that no faster than light communication is taking place. So if no signal is telling these particles how to coordinate the results, what's going on? The answer has to do with the unintuitive way that quantum physics works. We humans are just not comfortable with dealing with reality that at its fundamental level is fuzzy, uncertain, undetermined. Or is it? There is another real possibility that is not popular among scientists but that Bell himself proposed, and that is called superdeterminism. And here is how it could solve the mystery of entanglement. Bell proposed the idea of absolute determinism in the universe. 
the complete absence of free will. Suppose everything in reality is predetermined. It cannot be changed. The reality that you live in has already happened. No matter what you say or do, nature runs like a clock, unchanging. Our behavior and decisions, including our belief that we are free to choose to do one experiment rather than another, is absolutely predetermined. There are no real choices, like the experimenter choosing to carry out one set of measurements rather than another. There is no real randomness. If this is the case, the mystery disappears. There is no need for faster than light signal to tell particle A what measurement has been carried out on particle B because the universe, including particle A, already knows what the measurement will be. It's predetermined. Could this be the real reality? Could Einstein have been right all along that God does not play dice with the universe? That all time and all fate is predetermined? Could it be, as a religious person might say, everything is written?